right now. Uh, formerly the Gramercy Theater. Right. Just changed names I, I can't figure out what the real name of it is, but it's called Gramercy, Blender Theater at Gramercy. Is that what it is? I think. So, I'll take my word. <laughs> so Les Zeppelin is going to hit the stage in a couple of hours. Now, you're a New York band, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do you try to get most of your shows locally? Oh, no. We, um, we actually don't play locally that often. Uh, we play everywhere else but New York. Um, no, we play here about a couple times a year at least, but we do tour all over the U.S. and we've been to Europe and Japan and India, so we get around. I wasn't sure the world needed it, but I needed it. <laughs> um, as it turns out, I think the world does need it. Um, but I really just, you know, it's, I wish I could tell you it was some big fancy story, but the truth is, is that I was just listening to a lot of Led Zeppelin, because I, I just had fallen in love with it. You know, I'd heard it my whole life, but I'd fallen in love with it kind of anew, um, and was particularly obsessed with listening to it. And really, I just had, I was between gigs myself. I'd been on the road with Ron Spectre for a while and some other people. I just thought, you know, if I had my fantasy, what would it be? And it was, it would be to play Led Zeppelin. I mean, that would be my fantasy. And then I just thought, sitting around on my couch listening to physical graffiti, why don't I just do it? I just, why not? It'll be fun. I'll get some girls. That, that was obvious to me. There should be girls and we'll go play for fun. So it was and that a, was it. An really? all-female group was the plan from the start. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know anything about this tribute band thing. I'd never played in a tribute band and wasn't even aware that something like that existed as a scene, as it were. But, um, you know, I, I just thought we'll just play this music. And, and it was very naive, really. It was just go out there and do it. <laughs> Now, I was a little surprised. I was doing a little research and saw that you basically reformed the group. You have a new singer, bassist, and drummer. Mm -hmm. What happened there? Well, this is not the... Uh, the group has been reformed several times. The original band that started was a different band as well, um, from the one that was last together, that was probably together for the longest time. Um, but, you know, I see, this, I see this as an evolution. And, you know, the concept is intact and, you know, I'm the sort of consistent figure in it, being my band, you know, but, um, but it's really grown with each incarnation and, and it's really nice actually because it refreshes everything and, um, and really it kind of gets better and better, you know, I think that the band that's playing this music now is, uh, is without doubt the best it's ever been and it's deeper than it's ever been. And it makes you revisit things. So even for someone like me, you know, I've been playing this music for five or six years. In re, you know, working this stuff out with a new group of girls, I have to go back to it. And I always hear things that are deeper, that I've missed, that are more delicate, that are, you know, different nuances. And so the whole thing just keeps growing to another level. So it's really actually very healthy. Stage, they you generally male or female? <laughs> to answer tactfully, both. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer.
play Bonnaroo. There was a little confusion in the media because it was right by the O2 show in London, so everyone thought Led Zeppelin was headlining Bonnaroo. Right, right. Uh, has there been other instances of confusion of that nature where... Not of that nature. Or that, was, that was quite <laughs> extraordinary, <laughs> really. Someone just read the wrong thing and I don't know. It was really an amazing story. But no, not really. I mean, every once in a while you get this somebody who comes up to you with this blank look, I thought it was Led Zeppelin playing. I bought a ticket, you know. Oh, you bought a ticket for twenty-five dollars to see Led Zeppelin on a Wednesday night in Boise, Idaho. That's you know, uh, you know. But no, not really. Do you hear from the management at all? Has there been any? No, I mean, we, the, all the guys know about us, and they, as far as we know, they think it's great. Um, I think they understand that we do this with the deepest respect and love, you know. And I know that some of them have heard our record and are actually quite supportive, and um, and it's really great. four or five times, as we said. I've never heard you play Stairway to Heaven. Is there a strict no stairway rule? <laughs> no stairway denied. Um, we actually have played Stairway to Heaven, but a long time ago. We used to play it much more often. I think, you know, at some point we, we might play it again. You never know. Maybe when we're in the right sort of space. It's very sacred, you see, Stairway. Well, Zeppelin himself <laughs> used to play it for years. On yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah. So, I think I don't think Robert liked singing it much. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like Shakespeare, you know. It's a, it's it's Hamlet's soliloquy, really, isn't it? You know, um, Stairway to Heaven, which means it's just it is utterly brilliant. Absolutely. And there's no denying that it's absolutely brilliant. But it's so brilliant that it's been played to death. So you know. To get out there and play it sort of with a straight face and deliver it with the right tone is is hard. And it's not hard musically, but it's hard to do it with the right vibe and in the right spirit. So I think that, you know, we pick and choose. <laughs> Probably in wheelchairs when you're 15. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, if we're all still alive, you know, um, because groupies can be very tiring and take years off your life. But just, just kidding. Um, it's 15, 20 years. That's kind of a long trajectory. But I, I would just imagine that we'd be hopefully playing music and, you know, would you still maybe, want to be playing Zeppelin music? Maybe in giant stages at giant festivals and, and you know we have already done that to a certain extent but that you know living the dream and playing this music and traveling the world doing it I mean that would make me happy. Long time, long time, long time, long time. 